Patreon, I have a tier called You Get to Choose, where after paying a certain amount, you choose a manga that I review and make a video of. So, we can thank Anthony for this video of this stellar choice! Round of applause, everyone! For this video, I had the pleasure of reading SAO Progressive, and to preface, I really did go into this with an open mind, totally ready to throw my soul into hell after becoming an SAO fan. But I ended up hating this series even fucking more! I remember when SAO was first announced when I was an early teen and thinking, huh, I bet I'll really like this series. It sounds a lot like Dot Hack, and I really liked that series. But at this moment, in that time, this was the first anime that I had to stop watching midway because I hated it so fucking much. Be it Kirito's edgy try-hard attitude, or the a million and ten plot holes that plagued this series, I came to find that the manga wasn't much different. There is just so much wrong with the SAO series that I don't even know where to begin, but I am going to try. So buckle up, kids, because we're going on a ride of degeneracy of the likes that we've never seen before! SAO Progressive takes a new step from every other SAO series with it being from Asuna's perspective. Which, in theory, does sound interesting because now we don't have to look through the eyes of a guy who's literally our I'm a badass personified. And that only sounds good in theory. And that is because Asuna isn't really all that different. In fact, I would even argue they're pretty much the fucking same. Through this manga, we get to see Asuna become a strong and dependable character who overcomes each issue she faces, as we get to see a strong love begin to form between her and Kirito that becomes the love story of the ages! Just kidding. All she does is whine about her mom making her study in the real world, and us getting to see her take a million and ten baths. Seriously, how many bath scenes are in this fucking manga? I don't even get to see a nipple! What's the point?! Asuna proves herself, as well as the rest of the cast, to be very uninteresting and nonsensically OP. Like, really, you expect me to believe that someone who has never fought before somehow takes on a boss that killed 2,000 people and wins on the first try? Okay! Asuna throughout the series clearly has feelings for Kirito, but kinda comes off as cringy due to the fact that it feels so forced and out of nowhere. Like, he could literally be handing her some bread, and she would just reply, Don't get the wrong idea or anything! And I'm just thinking, Shut the fuck up and eat the fucking bread, you stupid bitch! Now you may be thinking, Sydney, don't you love tsundere's? And to answer that, I have a tier list to explain. S-tier tsundere's are tsundere's that are so soon that when they show that little dairy, that doki gets extra fucking doki. A-tier tsundere's are initially tsundere, but during the middle of the series begin to chill the fuck out. B-tier tsundere's are tsundere's that begin tsundere, but slowly change into a different character trope. And anything below that is pure fucking garbage. And then there's Asuna which further solidifies the truth of the 11th commandment. All tsundere's are best girl, except Asuna. Another thing that truly boggles my mind as to why this series is so popular is its fucking progression. And you wouldn't think that would be an issue with a manga that has the word progressive in it. There is one solid thing that every edition of SAO misses, and that is character FUCKING DEVELOPMENT! Do I immediately want to see someone become OP? No! I want a fucking Rocky montage of them getting their ass kicked until they're the ass kicker! Not only does this aspect just make sense to have in a series, but everyone grows closer with a character when seeing them at their lowest and then slowly overcome each challenge. And it's due to that that I felt no closeness to any of the characters in SAO. But after reading Progressive, I think I came to realize that I probably never will with any of these characters. And the reason for that is Progressive shows more backstory, especially of Asuna, and I feel nothing. It just feels fucking forced! Oh, I'm Asuna. I'm wealthy and my family pushes me to do the very best I can. My life is so terrible! Yeah, her parents may not love her, but join the fucking party! The dialogue in Progressive is also a bit... It's a bit iffy. For example, you know in the anime that they call Kirito the Black Knight? Well, in this official translation, instead of calling him that, they call him Blackie. But I will admit,
admit, one of the things I did like about SAO Progressive is some of the dialogue was admittedly funny between Kirito and Asuna. Uh, are you sure about that, Kirito? Even though I am ragging on this series non-stop, it is not as bad as it is coming off to be. Kind of. There were definitely multiple times where I read this and thought, for kids, this isn't a bad start. Well, minus the bad scenes. The air of romance is there between Asuna and Kirito, and maybe for impatient people, seeing these characters defeat a high-level boss so quickly is just the perfect combination. And I would argue that's the perfect combination for kids because fast action and a little bit of romance sprinkled in there, I mean, that's like every preteen movie. And maybe it's our problem that me and a million other people don't see the brilliance of this series. But I kind of doubt that. This series is ongoing and currently has seven volumes. And I would like to say that maybe if I keep reading, I'll change my opinion. But after reading seven volumes, I think you can get a good gist of a series. Honestly, if you also want to partake in this little slice of hell, then all of these books can be found on Bookwalker. Yes, I'm going to throw this in here. $200 wasn't enough to endure this shit show. Fuck you, Anthony. Use coupon code SISNA for 600 yen after your first purchase after making an account. Honestly, form your own opinion, read it. I would love to hear what you guys think. Maybe you can point out something that I've been missing and kind of change my perspective. Though for me right now, all the difference that I can see in this series is new girls added to the series that aren't in the original anime that are added to Kirito's grotesque harem. But yeah, maybe you can point something out to me and I'll be like, huh, I never thought of it like that! I could go on and on about SAO Progressive, but I'm going to make this short and sweet, unlike the SAO series. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have a manga that you want me to read and devote a video to, or just want to support this channel, then please check out my tiers on my Patreon. Please check out this link here or the link in the description. Right now in our manga club, we are currently reading Domestic Girlfriend, so that will be an interesting discussion at the end of the month. So yeah, thank you guys again, and bye!